In the previous video, we went over downloading and installing Code Connection in order to use Code Builder for Minecraft Education Edition. In this video, we'll go through how to connect the Minecraft Education Edition game to the Code Connection app so that you can use one of the editors that we have supported in Code Builder. The way that I can do that is in two different ways, and I'll show you both. One of them is actually to launch the Code Connection app manually. So I'll do that by finding it on my computer, searching for it, and launching it. I'll just have to wait a few minutes for the menu to load. And once it does, it'll give me a menu option in the middle with a connect command, as well as a copy button over here. Note that if you have trouble connecting Code Connection, it might be that your school system has 0 0.19131 as a port that's blocked. 19132 is what we use for multiplayer in Education Edition. 19131 is what we use for code connection traffic. So those might be things to check with your IT administrator. Also, if you're contacting our support team, you might want to know the version number. Version number 1.4 is down here on the bottom right. It should always appear on the bottom right. If you don't have a version number, it usually means that your version of Code Connection is a bit older. You'll want to go download and install a newer version, and you can watch the previous video to see how to do that. I'm going to hit this Copy button right here. I'm going to go back into the game and get to the command line interface. I can do that by hitting T on my keyboard. In this case, I can also hit Enter. I'll hit Control V to paste in this command and hit Enter. The connection's established, and I'll know it's been established because there's my agent right in front of me. And he has the same username as me, Neil M. Agent to show that he's my agent. Uh, if I was in a multiplayer game, he'd also be color coded to me as a player. So that's one way to connect. Let me actually close the editor right here for a moment and show you the other way. So this is going to close the connection. I can type the slash key on my keyboard and type in the word code without code connection even being launched. The game education edition will actually launch code connection for me. I'll just wait a few moments for the app to launch and it will do exactly the same setup. So you can see here on the code connection app, it'll just take a moment to load up. Either way, I get to the connection and I get to my editor. So I can choose from code.org, Microsoft Make Code, Scratch, Tinker. I have a pretty cool extra button here, MCHOC, which is short for Minecraft Hour of Code. You could do this as well by using our Add Service button, where I can put in a name, a link to the service, which is just a web link, and I can even choose a button color there as well. So if I want to do this again, I'm going to go back out and close it, type slash C-O-D-E hit enter, and wait for code connection to launch. And again, if for whatever reason this doesn't work for you, go back and use that other version that I showed at the start of the video, launch the code connection app, and go ahead and paste that command into the game. Now I need to pick my editor. Today I'm going to pick Microsoft Make Code. I'll wait a moment for it to load. Most of our editors will actually purposefully load on the left side of the screen, and that's because it's easiest to use Code Builder in a split screen format. While that's going ahead and loading, I want to put it full screen for a moment so that I can show a few of the pieces. So roughly the UI for MakeCode is that the projects that you're using are up here at the top. These are all my previous projects. If I scroll down, there's tutorials and other fun activities that you can do. If you go all the way to the top right, you'll see that there's an import button right here. MakeCode also supports importing and exporting files the same way Education Edition does. Those are .mkcd files. So when I'm done, I can actually save my work and send it to a peer or to my teacher. Um, and if I want to use somebody else's work, I can import that work here into the MakeCode platform. I'm going to take Minecraft and split screen it all the way here on the left. I'll use Code Connection on the right, and I'll open up the project that I'm working on. Just wait for a moment for it to load. One last bit of advice is in order to use Code Connection and Minecraft, the game client, sometimes when you switch back and forth, it will actually pause Minecraft, which is pretty annoying to have the screen go dark when you're trying to get your work done. One thing that I recommend is getting really used to the Alt tab to cycle through the windows. What that will do is prevent 
uh, Minecraft from pausing. So if you see right here, now I'm in Code Connection, back in Education Edition, and I didn't have an issue going back and forth. Okay, So that's roughly how I set up Code Connection um, to use as the full Code Builder experience. At this point, I have MakeCode on the left, Minecraft on the right, and I'm ready to either use a preset project or build my own code.